Hello everyone, welcome to my video channel, uh, Dorothy Chia Piano. And in this um, channel, I actually talk about all things to do with piano teaching, piano learning, and music. So do like and subscribe and click on the bell so that every time I put up a new video, you are being notified. Today, Today I'm going to talk about the topic of using diagrams when you are teaching online. Very often we think that when we teach music, we need to use music notes and uh, write on staff paper or write on the keyboard or um, show a picture of the keyboard or have the student look at our hands. For different types of learners, a uh, different method works. But very often I find that when you're teaching very young children, drawing a diagram to mean what you want them to do very helps very often. Okay? So let me show you an example. Suppose I want the student to play a C major triad. I only pull out the note C, E, G. And I want them to use their right hand. So I will just write down the finger that I want them to play. So I've simplified the process by having them see letter name and associate it with a finger, go through this step, and then after they have understood this, apply this onto the music score that they are then reading. I find that the two steps used together very often is more effective in getting the message through. So, another example. If I'm teaching a new skill, and now that I'm teaching uh, virtually through online, I often write out the skill like this. So if I'm teaching a C major skill, I'll write out all the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Have them see the C scale. Then write down the fingering above the notes. You might even want them to see the pattern of the scale grouping of fingering. Okay? If you are putting it hands together, then I would write another layer below to indicate the fingering for the other hand. Okay, once again, the grouping of the fingering is group of four, group of three. Now then how do you put it together? Um, look for patterns. For example, in the C scale, I can tell the students to look at the places where the finger three comes together. All right, and after three, to remember to put your finger one. Coming down after the three to put the finger one. So very often, the finger four is where the mistake is. You might want to point out which note the finger four is on. So I hope that today's tip has been helpful. So using diagrams to explain and show what we want the student to do is very often effective. Pulling out a specific spot and just diagrammatically explain it through to aid their cognition and understanding of the difficult passage. So I hope today's tip has been helpful. So stay safe everyone, till next week, bye bye.